listening to WNJC 1360 AM in Washington Township, New Jersey, and on the web, WNJC1360.com, our foresight broadcasting company. Stay tuned for the Mystic Hour. questions. Uh, the first one pertaining to my mom. Okay. I remember you told me a few weeks ago about her, um, she had a problem breathing and you told me she inhaled something. Yes. Uh, she did go to the doctor and they saw something in her lung but they can't really say what it is. Okay. Uh, they said it's some like, kind of like glass. If they call it glass but it's not glass. Okay. Some kind of crystalline form of something. Okay. 
What do you see? Can you look into that? Because okay. they're not, they haven't done any more tests. All right, stand by. Okay. We'll see what we will see with that. Yeah, because I do remember that. Um, yeah. wasn't that long ago. Um, you know, I, I do remember seeing a spot there, but I don't think it was a growth. Like I had said, I, I felt it was something something she inhaled there. So stand by. Let me see what we got. Right. Okay. See, and again, I, I have to say the same thing. It's definitely not something she grew inside of her. Right. This is this is a, a, a foreign object in the body, and the body is treating it as such. Now, the problem with that or, you know, whatever would be whether or not the body can break down something like that. Right. They you know. have her on antibiotics. Okay. That's She's been getting very, very lightheaded lately. She can't walk straight. We don't know if it's coming from that. Well, sometimes the antibiotics make you a little weird anyway. You know, yeah, but just it's, feeling it's, her walking, has, it's been like that before the antibiotics started. Right, I understand. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you again. I'm no doctor, my dear. Right, um, I know. You know, this isn't <laughs> the this doctor is hour. You're reading. <laughs> you are but, right on with your reading, so I'll but, tell you oh, that. Well, thank you for that. I, I appreciate that, and it's yeah. only because you know I, I love you all so dearly. I do. Aww. But you know, in in this situation, I mean, if there's still a problem and and they can't find anything well then they have to go to someplace else and and just keep looking because you know i i sense there's a problem she senses there's a problem you know yeah. you can't make this stuff up right you understand so yeah. you know i i don't think it's any better i don't now the antibiotics may change that in time right you know but if it's a foreign body that can't be removed in that instance or may take a long time to remove it in that instance. Uh, you know, I can tell you from experience that it, it takes a long time and they start guessing about all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you a really quick scenario about a, a little boy who accidentally inhaled a peanut. I know. That was yourself. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah, you know, I, I, I do recall mentioning the story a couple times, but, you know, that was a true story. And, you know, this thing was in my body, and the doctors, they they called it everything. My parents were down there probably five or six times with a different idea of this terminal illness for their son. And it was a horrible thing, you know, that they went through and, and that I went through. They put me in oxygen tents and, you know, tried all kinds of crazy stuff. They were talking about chemotherapy and then finally I spit up a piece of it and it turned out to be a fragment of a peanut. Wow. And it just took forever for the antibiotics to break it down and they didn't understand what it was. They just saw it getting bigger and bigger and bigger really, really fast. Right. And everybody was freaking out. It already collapsed the lung and everything. So, you know, it was a bad time. It really was. And it was all because the doctors were clueless as to what the problem was. So, you know, I can tell you from experience, you know, I mean, please, go to a doctor. Don't get me wrong. But make sure you go to a couple of them. And that goes for anybody out there, you know. Don't just go on one doctor say so. Get a couple opinions no matter what because you just never know. You know, yeah, if, if they're saying it. there's nothing wrong, well, then you got to keep looking because there's obviously something wrong. You know, yeah, she just wants to stick with up. this one doctor because she trusts him. But I told her you need to go get more. You just go yeah, to other there's doctors. There's nothing wrong with trusting a doctor and still going to you know get some backup. There's right. nothing wrong with that. Right. You know, because you have to understand that when you're seeing one doctor, you're only seeing you know one man's techniques and one man's formats and you know one way of of scanning you, so to speak, checking yeah. you out, you know, whereas a, a different person may have a whole different, you know, outlook and a whole different way of doing things and may catch something that this guy never even thought of even trying. So, you know, it's always best to have, you know, two heads are definitely better than one in this case. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I know I wasn't, you know, very magical. <laughs> she doesn't want to get out of bed. She's, she's extremely depressed. I told her you got to get out of bed. 
Yeah. Now, I don't I, I don't know if she's doing a lot bit of this to herself with the stress. Well, I mean, you know, it will tire a soul out, no question. You know, stress is geared for that. Yeah. Stress is meant to burn you out. That's what it does. And, you know, I, I think if people lived a lot more stress-free that we, you know, all live a heck of a lot longer. I truly believe that. Yeah, I try to tell her not to worry and she doesn't listen to me. Right, right. It's just more stress added on, you know. Right. Um right. The, base, the doctor told her there is something in her lungs. And I told her, I said, well, your psychic told you, mm. well, told me that you inhaled something. Right. It could maybe fiberglass or something. Could be I don't anything. Know. Could be, uh, it could be away. anything. It could be fiberglass. It could be, uh, you know, um, and I'm just being hypothetical here. It, it could be a, a stone that came off an earring that she may have, Swallowed in her sleep somehow, or you know, I'm, it could be a million one things. Right. Hmm. And I, I don't see any substance with that. I, I just see the problem. I just see the irritation. I just see, you know, what I see. I, right. I, you know, and I'm sorry I can't be more blunt than that, but yeah, you know, that's I, okay. I know that it's still there. I'll tell you that. Yeah. It's definitely still there. So, you know, antibiotics that should help her. There's I'm nothing thankful. wrong with, you know, getting other people's opinions, especially right. when it comes to your health, you know. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Go to, a, you know, a, a shaman, then go to, a, you know, a specialist, and then go to a, you know, a, a lung specialist, and go to a blood specialist, and, you know, eyes, ears, nose, and throat specialist. I check them all out. Yeah. Just to, you know. See what they see. Yeah, I'll have that done this week for you know, her. I mean, if she's willing to go outside of her doctor's realm and come into mine, mm -hmm. which she has in the past, right? then she should be able to go to another doctor. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I do have good that. news. Those tests yes. that stayed down my past, all of them. See? Yeah. I have to uh, take the big state exam this Saturday. Now, which this is going to be a lot easier. So that you could uh, st sell insurance and stuff, right? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. So, wow, and you said th there were several of them. I, I remember that in the reading yeah. too. And so, wow, you aced them all. You yeah. go, girl. You're Finally. awesome. God bless you. Thank that you is very great. much. See, I told you. You know, <laughs> it, it was just a matter of, and, and I'm not saying I told you because I told you because I, I told you. But <laughs> I need backup. My psychic. Yeah. I know I'm my own psychic, but sometimes I need a backup here. <laughs> sure, but you I know, you backup. have to be that backup. I know. I know. You know. And sure enough, you know, when when. It got down to that nitty gritty. That's exactly what she did. You backed yourself up and you made it happen for yourself. So, yeah. you know, God bless you and you really truly deserve, you know, Thank you very great. much. And I have no doubt that you're going to get that. You know, insurance is an amazing business, you know, depending yes, on where you're at and who you're dealing with, you know, you can make a lot of money. Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to be applying for a different insurance company. Do you see anything with that? Stand by. Life? Stand by. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, uh, you may find this interesting. Those of you that uh, read tarot and, and things of that nature, the um, death card is inverted here, so it most likely definitely has something to do with life in it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Huh. So it's definitely life something. Well, what? my um, the, the authorities on my license are going to be life and accident and health. Nice. This is <laughs> so good for you. Thank you. This so really I guess is. So it's a New York Life Company so that I'll be working for. You should be so proud of yourself right I'm now. I'm very proud. I This was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life to issue sure. that. The questions were so complicating. But, you know, you were right. You said they were going to come right to me, and they did. As soon as I released all that stress... What I told you was common sense, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. I remember. You yeah, know, that's I do all have common is. sense. <laughs> Sometimes I it stick it to the side and put it on the shelf, but, you know, you know how it is. But see, you deserve this. And, you know, this is another thing, you know, 
I mean, of course you're giving me credit, and I appreciate that very much. But, you know, this is the reason why those answers came to you so. It's because you did. You, you know, released your stress. Right. You literally gave all that to the universe, gave it to your higher power, to God, whatever you want to call it. Uh -huh. And, you know, because of that, you know, at this point, you have nothing but you, your test, and your faith. Right. And you threw it out there. And, right. you know, whenever somebody goes to those lengths to really put it out there, it's extremely rare that they fail. Right. That's just the way of things, you know. And the only reason why they do fail is because they're doing, you know, they're putting all this effort into something that's not quite exactly what they should be doing. You're you're off key somehow, somewhere. But right. you, I think this is the right thing for you. I think this is going to be wonderful for you. We've been talking about this for a while. And, you know, eventually, yeah, you will be doing your own thing, your own way, and making it happen yourself and writing your own ticket. And that's, you know, the American way. Da, 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 da. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's time so to, like, make money. <laughs> um, I got one of that schmuck from, I don't know I got, I got schmuck from San Diego. <laughs> See, and that was so smart of you to do, too. And once again, you know, your instinct stepped in, and, you know, you finally came to the realization that, you know, this guy was stringing you along. And yeah, I, he, uh, I was trying to tell you, my dear, it's I, no good. Yeah, I was pretty much on to him, and then he came out from San Diego for a weekend about a month ago, and he treated me with a lot of disrespect, and I, uh, I walked. Yeah. I said to, yeah, I, that, it pushed the button that night. And I never got a phone call saying sorry, nothing from him. So, it, mm. he proved every bit to me what kind of person he really is. And what kind of person I told you he was. Yep. yep. He's a loser. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and that's a shame. But, you know, you can't expect something like that to work, ever. Right. It doesn't work like that. You Not know? at all. Love is something that has to be done, you know, person to person. True love. You know, that... that Look across the crowded room, not across the crowded internet, not across the crowded <laughs> dating service, not across the crowded speed dating, not across, yeah. not across the crowded bar. But I mean, you know, it's gotta be at a time where you're not looking, where you're not hunting, because that's the only time when it's real. Yeah. You know, that's true. when it takes the best. You know, and it's great, it's wonderful, but, you know, it's got to be love at first sight, folks, or it's not going to work. Uh, I'm very happy to announce that, uh, you know, this month on, on the 4th, uh, my parents celebrated their 39th anniversary together. Wow. And I just that's think awesome. that's awesome. I yeah. think that's a beautiful thing. And, uh, you know, still together and, you know, they're still all Kissy, honey, sweetie, and, and the whole bit. It, it's a very incredible, wonderful thing to see. But it's a rare thing to see. And a lot of the times, it's because, you know, these people are, are getting married out there for the wrong reasons. And eventually they wisen up and say, you know what, this is a mistake. But by then, you know, there could be kids involved and, and just a big mess. And it's just a horrible thing, you know. And it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So your best bet is to kick back, enjoy yourself. You know, don't make any commitments. Go out there, have some fun, whatever. Just be safe and, and the whole deal, you know. But don't commit to anything but yourself. Exactly, and I'm not doing that. I don't need a man in my life, nor do I want one right now. Okay, so now see, now you're 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 talking scary talk because I'm warning you now, and this is something <laughs> I've said before that as soon as you start saying that, you know, <laughs> that's when real love is going to come. So I know. Be careful. I know. There is actually there is somebody that I just met. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> His name is, uh, what is his name again? <laughs> <laughs> wow, he must be stunning. This is pretty sad. <laughs> his oh, name no. is Lawrence. His name is Lawrence. Now, yeah, now see, you shouldn't have even said his name now. Because, like, 
all my listeners are going to be listening out for Lawrence. And That's as soon okay. as they get, <laughs> as soon as they meet them, they're going to be like shunning them immediately. Anyway, okay, so. <laughs> Yeah, I know, and it's sad. But <laughs> why is it sad? Why is it sad? I don't know. I, it's just that I've met too many wackos out there. It's just, I don't know. Maybe I'm not supposed to remember this guy's name. Maybe it's good for me to just pick up and move on. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it. If you, yeah. if you can't remember the man's intuition, name, yeah, intuition sounds I would suggest not making any type of commitment as of yet. Yeah, and I'm call not going to Call me psychic. That. Call me Dr. Phil. I don't think that that would be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> that was my Dr. Phil voice good. for all of good you. Good impression. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah. Now back to the mystic. <laughs> so, you know, this is, this is really what it's all about here for you, dear. You know, stop, stop kidding yourself. Stop messing around. Stop goofing around. Seriously, you're a wonderful human being. You've got great personality. You've got a lot of really great humorous stuff. You know, you're a very funny person. You're a very smart person. And you were even uh, doing stand-up part-time at one point, as I recall, yeah? Yeah, yeah a little bit, yeah. So, you know, I mean, you've got a lot of guts. You've got a lot of moxie, you know. Don't give yourself up to these people that don't deserve the best. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, it's the truth. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Go out there, enjoy yourself, kick it, meet some people, you know, have fun. But, you know, don't commit right now. Just commit to yourself because right now you are on the verge of some incredible things things that you have never seen before in your life, both spiritually, physically, financially, and it's going to be good. Wow. So, you know, don't don't blow this right now. Focus I on won't. yourself. Focus on what you have going on right now, my dear, because really I, I think you're going to do very well with this. I think you really have, a, you know, everything that it's going to take to really push this stuff. I think you're going to do really well with it. I really do. I really do. I I can't stress it enough. I do. I like hearing that. I'll let you have my doubt. (laughs) Well, you know, again, I'm not always the bearer of great news. You got lucky. I know. I know. (laughs) You got lucky. I'm usually, you know, kicking your butt all over the air. But, you know, really, I think you're doing very well for yourself right now, okay? And so, you know, really, don't blow this. Don't give it up to anybody. Don't, you know forfeit your life for somebody else right now, especially somebody that doesn't deserve it now. And, you know, you do this. You progress. You get to where you're supposed to be. And then at that point, <laughs> unbelievable, you will have so many flocking at your door, you won't yeah. know what to do with them. Yeah. And they'll all be pretty much just as su- successful as you. So, you know, it's a good thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. we got to hang out sometime. I haven't seen you in how long? Oh, it's been many, many moons. Well, I'm going to be over at Blue Eyes Restaurant tomorrow from 6.30 to 9.30. You should come out. It's going to be good times, I'm telling Where's you. Where's that located? It's right in Sewell, New Jersey, um, right uh, around Five Points area. It's really nice. All right, I'll look it up on the web. It's bl- called Blue Eyes, like, you know, as in Frank and stuff. It's, yeah. It's very... Italian chic. It's good stuff. So I'm really looking forward to the show. I'll be wearing a suit tomorrow. It'll be fab. So, oh, nice. yeah, come on out. It's going to be great fun. And, you know, of course, free psychic readings with me. That would be great. Awesome. Okay. Bring your mom, too. That would be awesome. Okay. <laughs> Teresa, <laughs> thank you so much for calling the show. And, thank uh, you. of course, God bless you and your entire family. You too. Take it You're easy awesome. now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, folks. Yeah, you know, that's true for all of us out there. You know, when we're doing God's work, we we do tend to progress rather quickly. Um, You know, providing that we're listening to what our instincts are telling us, not allowing stress to take control of our lives and, you know, cause our misjudgments and our cloudiness and the whole bit. So, you know, the more you start focusing on your own progression, what you have going on instead of, you know, looking for, uh, uh, you know, a man or a woman or whatever, you know, trying to just take up your time, you need to focus, progress, make it happen for yourself. And then you can have pretty much any woman you want. Worked for me, and I scored. So there you have it. So um, what we're going to do, I guess, is we're going to go to commercial, and uh, when we come back, we will have more free psychic advice with me.
means. In fact, let me give you those call numbers again really quickly. You guys can give us a call at 856-227-1360 and 856-232-7077. When we last left our hero, high in the Himalayas, seeking truth from the wise wizard who lives there. God, I hope this guy's home. Hello, anyone there? I am the wizard who holds the answer to which you seek. Behold, I give you the sword of destiny. Yes, it's very nice, but that's not why I'm here. Ah, you seek the holy grail, of course. Now, where did I put that holy um, grail? Oh, that's not why I'm here either. I'm just looking to find a deal on computers. Well, that's easy. Quartz Computers at 856-656-0443 are here for all your PC needs. Upgrades, repairs, all done on site. Even most warranties are honored. Check out their website at www.quartzcomputers.com or call them at 856-656-0443. Quartz Computers, thanks a lot. Now how do I get out of here? I wish I knew. That's QuartzComputers.com at 856-656-0443. Just look for the wizard in the ad. Greetings, Greetings to you. I am the mystic. mystic. Thanks, Thanks for tuning into my show each week, week. but it's but only an hour show, and I know many of you miss out on the chance for your reading with me. So, I am available for private sessions, as well as parties, seminars, and benefits, of course. Give me a call at 856-803-4463, and I will assist you in all matters of love, life, health, success, and destiny. As an ordained minister of nine years, I can also perform blessings and house clearings for the most memorable custom wedding created especially for you. Call 856-803-4463, and you can also reach me through my website at www.themysticsrealm.com. Feel the awesome power of a true psychic reading. To be knowledgeable about what is to come in your life is to be better prepared for it, and I will show you how to achieve better living through the Spirit. That number again is 856-803-4463, and I look forward to reading you. And we are back here on the Mystic Hour, Tri-State Area, and the world's free call-in live psychic talk show. Okay, um... Let's go ahead and take another call. I, I'm all f Karen got me laughing, so uh, I'm fine now, really. So let's go ahead and take this next caller. Caller, you are live. Good evening. Good evening, Mister. Good evening. Your name? Hi, this is Little Kathy. Hey, Little Kathy. Great to hear from you, my dear. And where are you calling from this evening? Oh, uh, I'm calling from Winona. Lovely. And hey. how may I be of service to you? Wow, it's great to hear from you, by the way. <laughs> it's been a while, yeah. I didn't turn into a pumpkin tonight for some reason. Well, um, nothing wrong with that. No, I got a song stuck in my head now. It's called Pumpkins are Great. <laughs> Found a peanut. <laughs> there you go. I listened to your last call. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just uh, catching up on a general reading. It's been a while. Oh, my it goodness, has sir. been. It has been a long time. And it is. It's great to hear from you on the air, my dear. Oh. So kick back, relax. We shall see what we shall see with you. Okay. And we will go from there. Okay, wow. <laughs> My dear. Okay, this is dealing with your present position, some of the things that are going on in your life right now, okay? Um, presently, you know, it seems like things have been really hectic over the past four months for you family-wise right now. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I must tell you, it's about to get a little more hectic. Uh, surprise me. <laughs> Let's see if you see what I already know. <laughs> I see another baby. Oh, very good. <laughs> that I guess I called that one. Another day. Uh, who's having a baby? Oh, man, my Jody girl. Really? God she just bless. shocked me, yup. Oh, my God. Wow. Jody, for those of you that don't know, is also a uh, regular caller on the show, just as uh, little Kathy is. Well... My gosh, congratulations. Let me be the uh, first psychic to congratulate yeah, you. Yeah, we didn't tell nobody yet. But I was well, <laughs> you just told everybody. I don't have to tell you. You already figured it out. God bless. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'll tell you, I mean, a lot of people have babies for a lot of different reasons. You know, I, I know this was a bit of a surprise, but oh. honestly, I think this is going to 
really cause some good stable anchoring here. Good. So, so. this is some good stuff. Good. It, it, it's, you know, it could be a lot worse, really. But no, I think this is going to be good stuff for her. I really do. I just found out Friday. Don't like, make it a little smart. God bless. Uh huh. So that's that, awesome. That, okay, you're right on the nail with that one. <laughs> yup. Yup. Now, um, dealing with the recent past, okay, here, you know, I know, like I said, things have been really nuts, but, you know, you have progressed. This whole thing, you know, is progression above all things. So, you know, please understand that. I, I really think this is a good thing. But, you know, right now you're starting to work towards some of your goals right now. So don't let her or this new baby sway you out of that. Uh-uh. Okay? <laughs> didn't last time either. <laughs> I know. But you can't them. tell me they didn't try. So, you're right. you know, be careful of that. Okay. You okay. know, and you're a softy right yeah. now. So... I'm softy now. I thought I've got stronger than ever. Oh, you, you're you a strong lady, but, you know, you love babies, hon. That's just a weakness. It's, it's like you're kryptonite. <laughs> well, true, love babies, but, you know, I, I done paid my debt to society, and they're fun to give back. So. <laughs> <laughs> they are a lot of fun to give it's back. It's fun to they? give them back now, you know. And not yeah. interested in raising anymore. Had my own. No, I, I really though. I, I think this is going to be great for her. I really do. And you know, you you are you're very strong right now, and you've been playing it smart like this whole time. Not just with her, but you know, with the rest of the family and everything else. Um, but you know, emotionally, I think you're extremely powerful right now, and love is definitely in the air for you as well. And a lot of reverence with with your love right now, like a, a lot of respect is being thrown about right now. Awesome. You know, and that's great. You know, that's great, great stuff. These are the things that, you know, make people stay together 39 years and stuff like oh. that. <laughs> you know? oh, well, that you're another so one, cool. aren't you? Your parents have been together many moons, yeah? My parents hit, oh gosh, uh, they hit 56 years. God bless. Now, yeah. See, I think that is so awesome. 56 or 57, they're getting ready to hit it. Uh, in November. Awesome. God yeah, bless. and sweetie, honey, and all that good stuff. <laughs> See, and, and you know, and look how well we turned out, right? Yeah, we're fabulous. <laughs> yes, yes, we are. But you know, again, I, I'd be willing to bet, and I, you know, haven't even read them, but I, I'd be willing to bet it was love at first sight with them. You know, because yeah. it usually is. Yeah. Right. It was. Yes, it was. See, that's that's the yes, deal. Yes, it was. You know, and that's what makes it real. That's what makes it true. Mm -hmm. With a lot, you know. of, a lot of hard scratching and picking and, and you know, and molding sure. together. And they went through some tough, tough times. Sure. They trudged through some, you know, really rough times. Yeah. No question. <laughs> you know. Still giving her a run for her money. And it wasn't them. It was the time. You know. Oh, I but, know. He, he's wow, giving her a good was, run for her money now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Her worst child. Oh, but he's he, a pimp. You know, oh, I've met him several times myself. Pimp. He's a pimp. I, I love him dearly. He's he's awesome. I love you guys dearly. You guys You're are all great. great. You're like family to me. You know this, especially uh -huh. you guys. So, you know, um, you know, I've I've seen your babies grow, and you know, the whole deal. It's been a wonderful journey. Yes, it really okay. has. And I've seen you grow. And, you know, you've seen me grow, and, and mm -hmm. it's just been, you know, a wonderful time, really. Uh, you're a wonderful friend, though, Kathy. You truly are. Thank you, thank and, you. Uh, back at you. truly blessed my life, as well as the show and, you know, a lot of other people as well. So you're awesome. Sorry. But, you know, you've got some really great stuff coming because of these actions, because of these things, you know, because you're so awesome, you know, I have no doubt that God is definitely, you know, breaking you off quite a bit here, uh, you know, he's so. He's giving me jobs to deal with, and I've been doing them, and with a smile, love what he's put my way, all, right. you know, as rewards as well, as well as the jobs itself, some of them were tough, tough. Rewards are great, tough. you know, when you're doing God's work, that's yeah. just the way of things. No question. See, and it's so great to have all you guys, you know, that tune in every week and call in and, 
you know, the whole bit. And even if I haven't heard from you in a little while, it's always yeah. great to hear from you. But, you know, I, I do consider all of you guys, you know, on the same team, so to speak. You know, right. cool. it's just wonderful. We love you. Well, okay, my dear, that's what I see for you. Now, is there anything else very quickly I can yeah. answer for you? Um, I have been uh, lately pursuing a different job. Aha. Uh-huh. Well, again, you know, I see a lot of ingenious methods with you. And this is, you know, definitely geared towards your finances right now. Right. So I, I think you're playing this smart, Chicky. Yeah, I, I, I really I, sense that. I think this, this leg scare really uh, kind of knocked my head in saying, you know what, you're not getting any younger and love what you're doing, but it's not, you know, it, what's going to happen for my future? Right. It's not right. going to help me for my future. See, and this is what we have to, you know, all come to the conclusion of eventually, right. you know, is whether so we're content with what we have or not. How's that prospect look? I think it looks great for you. Really? I really, really do. I but know. i got to tell you, you know, once you're in, you're in. You're locked in. Right. So be ready for that, dear. Well, I'm, I'm kind of lo- uh, loyal anyway, so. <laughs> right, right. But, yeah, you'll be locked in when you go into it. So, you know, be sure you are okay, dear. I just want to make sure, is this the right step I'm taking in the right direction? I think so. I do. Like I said, you know, you're very ingenious right now. I don't think you'd be getting involved if you didn't think it was the right thing to do. I don't. Okay. You know, so keep that in mind, dear. And, you know, again, follow that instinct. You you know better than anyone. It works. Right. Well, it just dropped in my lap, and I'm just like, uh, so I went for it, and... You know, it's a matter of waiting the, the the waiting game now to see if they're even going to be interested. Uh, right. The, the job market's so hard. Right. You know, even though I've been trained and qualified a long time ago, it's still, you know, not good enough now, or you're overqualified and all that other garbage that I've had crammed in my face from the past. Absolutely. You know, and Absolutely. It's just like, you know, and here I'm doing less for, you know, I, I could say, not, not the blessings involved, but... Uh, financially less than what I'm worth, and, and it just like stinks. <laughs> right. And after a while, you look at sure it and go, does. "Wait a minute, now what am I going to fall back on?" You know, something else happens. Right, right. And uh, you know, it's but that's all that's been open to me. I understand that. So. But you know, you have to remember that you know, right now you've you've done what God has wanted you to do, and right now I think you're getting you know. The repercussions from that. I, I think you're you're getting your rewards from all that. Oh, I am. No, no doubt. So, you know, I, this I know is that the is stuff you have fact. to eat. You know, you have to consume as much of it as you can. You know, and and get back as much as you can. Of course, which again you do. So, really, I think you're getting rewarded here, dear. And I definitely think you're you're a smart cookie. But unfortunately, we are about out of time with you, my dear. So okay. I'm going to have to let you go. But okay. I want to thank you so much for calling the show. It's it always a pleasure wonderful. hearing from you, my dear. Stayed awake tonight for. <laughs> I'm glad you did. And stay Stick around because I want you to hear this interview that I had with these uh, lovely people from the uh, Breast Stop, Breast uh-huh. Cancer Benefit, that uh, we're going to be doing this coming Sunday. Okay. It's a real hoot, so stick around. Very nice. Okay. Right on. God, God bless, bless you, Kathy, and God bless and you and your entire family. Same to you and everyone that listens. Oh, uh, I had a, a word of advice for the last caller. Okay. Um, if nothing more, get some expectorant. And that'll cause the fluids in your body to cough all that stuff out of your lungs. That sounds like a smart move. So if okay. you heard that, Teresa, tell your mom to, you know, ask her doctor about some expectorants. That's yeah, a good you idea. Can get it over the counter. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, it's always good to ask the doctor first and stuff like that. Cause you never know what that is. All right, my dear. Thank you so much for calling. God bless you and your entire family. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, folks. Uh, we are going to go ahead and. Um, take a little quickie break here. Uh, what I want to do is I want to give you guys a, a, a listen to this interview that I had, and uh, it was just yesterday, and they were just wonderful girls. So they came on out and sat down with me a little bit, and we talked about this uh, breast cancer benefit that they have coming up. In October, they're actually going to be uh, doing a 60-mile walk over a three-day period. 
And this coming Sunday, they're collecting money in order to do that. They need $2,200, and they're going to be selling some tickets, uh, like $25 each, so that you guys can come on out to Dempster's Sports Bar and Restaurant. And, uh, you know, it's all for charity. It's all for breast cancer benefit. And it's just going to be a great time. There's going to be all kinds of different pool tournaments, pong tournaments, darts, the whole deal, lots of food, uh, lots of just really great times. So why don't you guys take a listen to this, and uh, this is how it went. Check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is I, the Mystic, of course, from WNJC. And uh, we have some really great stuff going on, as always, here on the Mystic's Realm. Uh, but tonight we have some guests, folks. We don't have very many guests on my show, but tonight we are going to have it. And we have some, not only are they just guests, they are not. Oh, no. Oh, no. In fact, these lovely ladies are here to assist in one of my favorite topics in the whole wide world. Yes, we're talking about breasts, folks. <laughs> How you doing, ladies? Fine, thank you. It's great to have you here. So, um, first off, your name? Rita Brooks. Rita Brooks. Bonnie Byersman. And Bonnie Byersman. Bonnie Byersman. Um, you ladies are here to talk about breasts. Let's uh, let's get into that a little bit. <laughs> No, seriously, you, you ladies are here for uh, the Breast Stop organization, yeah? Yes. yes. Okay, now can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, what exactly is Breast Stop? It's an organization of um, a group of people that are trying to um, uh, promote and um, make aware all the breast cancer uh, issues. Right, see, that's, that's awesome. Save the breasts. I'm all about that. Um, you know, and... I, I think that, you know, all research is really, really good, but I, I think we have made some steps, you know, as far as, you know, breast cancer awareness and, and, you know, steps towards trying to, you know, cure some of these cancers. But, you know, we still need to go a lot further. And I think we have, but, you know, we've got to go much, much, much further. I was looking at um, some of your statistics in there, and they're pretty scary. You know, like women have like a one in eight chance in a lifetime, you know, in going to get breast cancer, and that's pretty crappy odds. <laughs> so, um, you guys, uh, now how long has uh, Breast Stop been around? This is our second year. Lovely. There's eight of us on the team this year, hopefully more next year, and each of us have to raise $2,200 each. Wow. With raising a total of 17600 or more just to do this work. And you said how many are on your team? There's eight. So there's eight. Now, are they all women? or? No, we have three men and the rest women. Nice, really nice. So, um, so eight. So, yes, I, I also saw that on the thing. So you men out there, you know, check the lumps. <laughs> so, um, the breast stop itself. You said there's eight of you, and and you have to have how much all together? Seventeen thousand six hundred or more. And what will that do? That will allow us to do the sixty mile walk. Okay, now we're starting to get into some nitty gritty. That money will be donated to Susan G. Common Foundation. Right, and uh, you can check out the words on that right there. There they are. You don't see them, but they're there. Trust me. <laughs> so um, it's a little mystic magic that I do. <laughs> so um, now we're now we're talking about the sixty mile walk, and before we get into that, there's a couple other things I wanted to um, you know make people aware of. One is that you know breast stop. Yes, it, it's completely volunteer. I would assume. Yes. Okay. Everybody's been tied up and roped into this. This is all done for well, free will. Other than Most of us. lies that have been told. <laughs> now, what are we talking about here? Oh, well, the person that I went out for the walk, it was, oh, just please just walk with me and get me started on my walk for this year. And I walked with her, and she said we were doing a short walk because it was the first night, and it was five miles the first night. Wow. Well, she got me hooked, though. So she did what she set out. So you were down with the walking after yeah, that. Yeah, See, now, some of you viewers don't know this, but when I was... Very, very little. I was actually one of the youngest people to actually complete the March of Dimes walkathon. So I'm with you. I walked 20 miles in one day, but that's like a uh, drop in the bucket. You guys walk in 60 miles in a weekend. Yeah. Wow. Now that's.
that's another good question. Is is you know, I mean, obviously you guys are training for this, you know, 60 mile event. So what do you guys have to do to get ready for that? Lots of walking. We started in April and we walked many, many miles. Away. And you haven't stopped walking since. <laughs> in between the walking, we do a lot of cross training. Even right now, they're walking in place, folks. I don't know if you can see their feet. <laughs> We're just getting back from a 22 mile walk. Goodness gracious, uh, uh, it's just unbelievable. And in this heat too, folks, you know, that's some guts. So, okay, so the 60 mile walk, uh, uh, that just seems so far. Now, um, are all, is it just the eight of you that's going to make this walk? Or, or? Thousands of other walkers, and the reason you keep going when you're tired and your muscles hurt and you don't want to go anymore, the inspirational miles are actually walking with people that are survivors, people that didn't make it, who are walking in honor, or people who aren't lucky enough to walk with us. That's what keeps you going. See, God bless you both. I think that is awesome. Now, um, aside from the 60-mile walk, like, aside from the physical preparation, you guys have to make some financial preparation too, right? right. Each one of you has to make $2,200. Now, how are you, how, what are you doing in order to make that happen? Well, we're asking friends and family, of course, to support us because uh, most of them think we're crazy and we're figuring that we can... Walking 60 miles in a weekend is a little crazy. Well, we're going to capitalize on our craziness. And you go, girl. Our, we're trying to get our families to support us. So that's one of the ways. Um, the other thing is we're doing a fundraiser that we're doing this Sunday at Dempster's. Yes, on that's Sunday, Sunday, August 19th, yes? Yes, it is. Right on. And I understand you guys are going to have a lot of really cool stuff going on. Absolutely. You're going to be there, right? As a matter of fact, I am one of the cool things that's going on. <laughs> <laughs> no, um... You guys are having a, uh, let's see, pool tournaments, ping pong, poker, shuffleboard, shuffleboard, darts, I believe. Plus, I don't know if you folks have been to Dempster's in Mount Holly, but their food is really, really good there, and I know they're going to have a lot of that there, too. Um, I will be there performing uh, psychic readings, and also, uh, we're going to be having a silent auction. And uh, we're going to be auctioning off, you know, one of my... Yes, the, I have no doubt of that. Everything is pretty lively over at Dempster's, folks. i, I got to tell you, it's a really great place. I've been there almost a year myself, uh, every week over there. And uh, I always have a lot of fun over there. But, um, you know, I just think this is such a great cause. And I, I think you ladies have a lot of guts walking 60 miles anywhere for what any reason. <laughs> Especially in Philly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you're yeah. going to be walking with, you know, uh, the bulletproof vests and the whole thing there, you know. <laughs> Philly and sleeping in Philly and in places and tents. Nice. See, I think that is so awesome. Thank you so much. Now, um, the event itself over at Dempster's, that's August 19th, that's going to be from what, 2 to 2 to 7? Two to seven? Okay. So, folks, if you get a chance, you got to come out there. Now, um, what about the uh, participation? It, there's a ticket sale that needs to be bought there. Now, how would we get tickets for this event? Uh, of course, I don't need them, but how would they get tickets for the event? You can purchase tickets online at our website, www.breaststock.org. $25. That includes your food, beer, and a great time. There you have it, folks. Now, um get a little personal here. What motivated each one of you personally? We'll, we'll start with you, hunt. What made you, you know, want to get involved in, in breast cancer research and, and helping everybody out like this? What What's what's pushing you outside of, you know, the man upstairs? Well, last year I turned 50. Midlife crisis and that <laughs> says it all. And uh, I thought of selfish things like other women would, I suppose, at that age where I wanted to breast lift and a tummy tuck, but then I saw the commercial on TV and the rest is history. Once you go to um, the 3 dayorg and watch the videos, you'll be out there walking too. Nice, and nice. Now, Why I'm doing it this year, I am literally crazy. <laughs> <laughs> now, 3day.org, is that? 3day.org is the main organization that we're, all the teams are walking for. And they're pushing the 60-mile walk. Exactly. See, we got to get a hold of those guys. Why 60 miles? No one can answer that for me. I could understand, you know, 60 minutes of walk in. I can even understand 6 miles of walk. 60 miles just seems really... Dangerous. <laughs> I can't think of any other word. It sounds dangerous. But it's no more dangerous than, you know, having to deal with something as dangerous exactly. as breast cancer. So, you know, it's nothing. God bless. So, what about you, my dear? What, what, what motivates you for this mess? Serious. Uh, she lied to me. I mean, that, that is truly why I'm here. Um, 
the first night we walked in. You did, though. Yeah, you did. You, you, you just omitted a whole lot. And, uh, so she just basically said, go for a little walk, and now you're roped in. You know, to get me started on, on uh, training this year, you know. And I, I have to say, I walked and started talking to some people, and I... In my life this past year, I have just experienced so many people that have needed prayer in dealing with breast cancer and, and even other cancers um, that, you know, again, I turned 50 this year, so um, I kind of feel like, what have I done you know, right. to deserve being on this earth? So it just kind of, it just started hitting home and, I don't know, everything just kind of fell into place and here I am. Nothing new. God bless it was a little you. bit more than I comprehended, though, because when I first signed up, I had not done the map quest to see how far it was to <laughs> areas that I might know from one distance to another, and I was kind of thinking the distance from my house to my parents was, uh, you know, 15 miles, and it turned out to be six. So my my comprehension of how far this was going to be was not real at the time, but I'm learning. We're walking <laughs> a lot. We're walking. And, and just, you know, how many miles are you walking on the average, you know, when you guys go on? It depends on the day. Depends on the day. Right. They give us a different schedule. Um, this coming weekend on Saturday, we're walking 18. On Sunday, we're walking 16. And then Monday, we're going to rest. And then it goes on Tuesday, so many miles. Every day is either cross-training or miles. God bless. We that just to seems to so far. Yeah. It's very far, but it I'll is. tell you, when you get to the end of the 60 miles, even though it felt tough, you know at the end why you did it. Sure, absolutely. She promises me that I'm going to do that, because I didn't even walk <laughs> last year. So. You have to go. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, but you'll know at the end. My feet well, aren't cooperating too much either. What's that? I said my feet aren't cooperating too much either. I'm blistering pretty badly, but we're working through that, too. Well, I mean, you know, I'm sure there's all kinds of protective gear oh, that you can... Oh, we're trying to. <laughs> <laughs> I have no doubt. I know I would be. Goodness. Well, you ladies are awesome. Thank you so much. And I'll tell you, I, I um, have dealt with a lot of different charities, you know, throughout my years doing this, and I, I just think this is awesome. I think it's a little scary going 60 miles, i got to yeah. tell you, so, you know... Do whatever you got to do. Make sure you're hydrated car. and blah, 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 you know, a whole bit. But, you know, really be safe out there. Mm -hmm. Now, um, if anybody else wanted to, you know, again, get involved, you, their best bet is to go to your website? Yes. If they want to donate, they can go right to www.breastdoc.org and they can donate to any one of us. Or come to the fundraiser this Sunday, August 19th. It's $25 a ticket. And that includes your food and beer and all kinds of excitement. And again, that could be from our website at www.breaststop.org. And how much are those tickets? Twenty-five dollars. Well, that's not bad. Twenty-five bucks to get in and just ride out the day there. Absolutely. Nice. From two to seven. Bill Bill Dempster, the owner, has been absolutely very supportive through this whole thing. He's been he wonderful. is very nice. He really is an awesome guy. Well, you heard that, folks. He is awesome. I, I, I can vouch for him myself. Uh, I've dealt with the man for a long time, and he really is a really, really great guy. And I'll tell you, I think this is a great idea. Uh, you know, just God bless you both, and, you know, just try to stay cool out there. Now, when is your walk? Oh, thank you. I do try. Uh, when is the walk itself, though? October 5th, 6th, and 7th. Wow. So are uh, they going to have a cordoned off where people can wave and yeah. throw water we'll balloons at you and stuff? Yeah. We won't know nice. where we're actually walking until about a week before they tell us. Well, maybe uh, the week before the walk, mm -hmm. you ladies can come back, oh, and great. we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, see how things have progressed. And we'll need some you know, support and, and uh, excitement at that point. See, I would love that. So that sounds like a great idea. So we'll have you back sometime uh, early October and uh, just see how the whole thing went and, and just kind of go from there. You're awesome. You're awesome. Well, folks, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, again, I want to thank you both for coming on, and I want to thank Breast Stop itself just for, you know, helping people with breast cancer. Again, it's one of my personal favorite topics. And, uh, you know, if there's any chance that you can save a breast, by God, get out there and do it. That's what I say. Go to breaststop.org and uh, help these fine people out because they really are wonderful people. And, uh, you know, God's looking out for them, I have no doubt. So uh, thank you, ladies, again so much thank for everything. For and uh, that's how it goes. So, folks, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take you back to the studio. We'll be back. Okay, folks, there you have it. Uh, you want to talk about some really wonderful people. 
Um, it is the breast stop team. I mean, anybody out there, like I said, anybody out there that's willing to walk 60 miles to save breasts, <laughs> you go, girls, I'll tell you. I, I just, I, I can't believe they make them walk that, that far. That just seems a little excessive. But uh, I guess, you know, in the spirit of things, it's, uh, you know, anything's possible. Let that be a lesson to all of you out there. And speaking of wonderful people, I do have another caller. So we're going to go ahead and take this caller, and I already know who it is. So, uh, caller, you are live. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Mystic. I'll tell you, folks, you want to talk about a brilliant, brilliant guy. This is the one. Folks, this is Danny Danzi, guitarist of, uh, solo guitarist, actually. The guy, he, uh, has his own bit and, and puts his own albums out, and he's just a, a wonderful human being and a brilliant musician, and, uh, he just suffered an, uh, extreme loss of his mother, uh, very, very recently, and again, my, my love and heart goes out to you, my brother. Thanks, man. Now, um, so, Danny, you know, musically, you, you've always got something going on, and I know you know you're you're still grieving and, and stuff like that. But you know, make sure you put some of that emotion back into your music. I have no doubt that you will. But you know, your website is uh, uh, DannyDanzi.com. Yes. Yep. That's D A N N Y D A N Z I. You want to hear some of the most brilliant guitar work in the galaxy? That's the place to go for it. I'll tell you, folks. Uh, Danny, it is great to hear from you, my brother. As always. Uh, you know, you've always been, uh, as I say, you know, you've always been on the same team, so to speak, you know, and all of us, you know, are, are gonna have to experience loss in one form or another, but, you know, really, it, it you know, couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. You're, you're a wonderful human being, and all of our prayers and love is definitely gonna be going out to you tonight. But, you know, one thing you have to remember, and this was something that Danny had asked me earlier, was, you know, he was really hoping and expecting because of his, you know, strong spirituality to expect a sign of some kind from his mother that she was okay. And I explained to him, and this goes for all of you out there, is the fact that she didn't have any sign or anything like that is actually a really good thing because those of us that do well in this world, you know, we do end up going to a nice place, but those of us that don't, we get stuck here or go to a really nasty place, and, you know, we definitely want to try and get somebody's attention in order to get out of there. So, you know, the fact that, Danny, you, you didn't get any sign like that tells me that, you know, she is without without any doubt at peace. So that's, you know, got to be of some comfort to you, my brother, you know. It is to an extent, you know, I, I think that um, when you're very close to somebody like I was to my mom, you know, sure. um, it just it makes you think, you know, um, how could she have a good time knowing that I'm so down, you know, and that's what I'm thinking, like, just give me a little something, Mom, let me know you're okay, I'm dying over here, you know, my father's 72 years old, he feels like, you know, why... Why even live on? I mean, we're not, you know, thinking bad thoughts, taking our lives, of course, or like not. that. But I it's, you know, it's like when we're so close like that, it's just sure. devastating, you know. Where if I were to pass away, you know, the first thing I would say is, whoever I met up there, please, is there some way I can just give a message, just to let them, you know, to ease their pain, you know, because it would take it away instantly, you know. And I just, my spiritual faith being so strong, I kind of, you know, it kind of bothered me. Just, just a bit. I thought that I was worth at least, you know, at least finding out something that everything's all right, if that makes any sense at all. Mm -hmm. And I understand that, brother, and I do hear you. But you must understand, too, that, you know, yes, you are a spiritual being. Yes, you know, you deserve a lot of things. But, you know, God knows a little more than we do. <laughs> God true. has a bigger plan than we do. And, you know... Who are we? You're right. You know, to make demands on anybody You're in right. that respect. Yeah, and I didn't mean it to, to come off as a And I understand you didn't, you know. but, you know, that's the whole point, is that, you know, we don't mean to, you know, put ourselves out there the way we do, but we do it every day. Yeah. And, you know, honestly, I mean, in all honesty, no one is, obviously, no one is deserving of knowing what's really going on over there on that other side, or we'd have a lot more clues as to what happens when we 
like that. That's true. That's very true. You know, there's a reason why we don't get to know. Yeah. But it's a good reason that you can believe. It's so take that to the bank, my you brother. Know. All right. Very Understand, difficult. you are, you know, a, a brilliant mind, but you're also a brilliant soul. And, you know, you got a lot of strength there, brother. You know, don't let this shake you, man. In fact, I, I sense that eventually it will make you stronger. I think that, you know, my mom's actually helping me to get stronger. Or Jesus, somebody's carrying, you know, that footprints in the sand thing. Somebody's definitely carrying me. Amen you know, to that. Because uh, I'm doing the best I can. I mean, what are you going to do? You have to accept it, and you just have to live on, because I know she'd be very upset, you know. If, if, better believe if, that. I was just, like, totally depressed, and, you know, it's just such, such sure. a shock when you sure are that close. Sure, and, shock. and uh, you know, like you are. You know, again, it, you know, give it some time, brother. It will subside. Yep, I'm doing the best I can. All right. Sure is great to talk to you, and I, and I appreciate it. Great you. hearing from you, Danny. Really, it's say hello. always a blessing. And, you know, please feel free to give us a call anytime. I will. I appreciate all your kind words and for the website plug, and you really do a great job with oh, these thank people, you man. Very much, I really enjoyed the, sh the show tonight. Thank you. That means so much. Well, my brother, again, God bless you and your entire family. Thanks for calling the show. And, and those of you out there, again, dannydanzy.com. you got to check it out. Thanks for calling, Dan. Thanks, miss. God bless you and your family, too. Bye-bye. Talk soon. Bye-bye. Okay, my brothers and sisters, my time is up. We've got Sports Maniacs coming up here uh, almost immediately. So uh, I guess we'll let that happen.